The Science of Rainbows, How Light Creates Nature's Magic. Imagine this, a storm has just passed. The air is fresh, the ground still wet from the rain. You step outside and there it is, a perfect glowing arc of colors stretching across the sky. It feels almost magical, as if nature itself just painted a masterpiece before your eyes. But what if I told you that this seemingly simple phenomenon is actually the result of complex physics, bending light, and an optical trick that only exists from your unique point of view? Before we begin, if you love exploring the mysteries of science and nature, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. I'm just starting out, and every sub keeps me motivated to create more fascinating videos for you. Now, let's uncover the surprising science behind one of nature's most breathtaking illusions, rainbows. How does a rainbow form? A rainbow is not an object you can touch. It's an illusion created by three simple ingredients, sunlight, water, and the laws of physics. When sunlight enters a raindrop, it slows down and bends, splitting into different colors. Then, it reflects off the inside of the drop and bends again as it exits, sending those colors back toward your eyes. This process is called refraction, reflection, and dispersion, three forces working together to create one of the most beautiful sights in nature. But here's the catch. The rainbow you see is not the same one someone else sees. Each person's eyes catch light from a unique set of raindrops, meaning your rainbow is completely your own. Why are rainbows always arched? Many people assume rainbows are shaped like an arc because that's just how they naturally appear. But the truth is, if you could see the whole picture from above, say, from an airplane, you'd realize that a rainbow is actually a full circle. The reason we usually see just an arc is that the ground blocks the rest of the light. And here's a mind-bending thought. There's no actual end to a rainbow. That whole idea of chasing the end to find a pot of gold, that's just a myth. No matter how far you travel, the rainbow will always stay ahead, moving with you. Can rainbows appear at night? You might think rainbows can only appear under bright daylight, but have you ever heard of a moonbow? These are rainbows that form at night, created by moonlight instead of sunlight. They're much fainter because moonlight is not as strong, but under the right conditions, especially near waterfalls, you might just witness one of nature's rarest spectacles. Speaking of rare, some rainbows don't even follow the classic red to violet order. There are supernumerary rainbows which have extra bands of colors. And then there are fogbows, which look like ghostly white arcs in the mist, often seen by sailors navigating the sea. What if there were no rainbows? Think about it. Rainbows are a direct result of how light behaves in our atmosphere. If Earth had a different kind of atmosphere, or if light bent differently, rainbows might not even exist. Or they might look completely different, perhaps appearing in shades of colors we can't even see. And yet, across cultures and throughout history, rainbows have been symbols of hope, mystery, and wonder. They remind us of the hidden forces shaping our world, forces we often take for granted. The next time you see a rainbow, the next time it rains and the sun peeks through the clouds, look up. You're not just witnessing a splash of color in the sky. You're seeing light itself being stretched, bent, and reflected in ways that only nature can orchestrate. If you found this as fascinating as I did, be sure to subscribe so we can explore more of nature's incredible secrets together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.